Hey guys, this is Jennifer from Dandelion Homestead. I'm actually in my room today because I walked to three miles and I'm not feeling too well. Um, so I figured I would just do my review for Seeds Now while I'm sitting here. That's probably why my hair looks all crazy. I'm just not feeling it today. Um, I ordered from Seeds Now because I heard about them. Typically I order from Baker Creek. Um, heirloom used to be big for me but now it doesn't really have to be heirloom but it does have to be either non-gmo or organic i prefer organic but non-gmo is definitely a requirement heirloom not so much but if it's heirloom that just makes it better for me but non-gmo is an absolute necessity so i figured i would try seeds now since their seeds are non-gmo and they have organic ones too um, and I, the thing that I like the most about their seeds is they come in little plastic bags. I am one of them gardeners, I guess, who, you know, get distracted. There's so many things going on outside, whether, you know, the dog's outside and he decides, you know, he wants to go lay with one of the ducks. He lays next to them. And then, you know, sometimes my Drake and him fight, but nothing vicious. Um. Anyhow, but it's just like there's so much stuff going outside and then with the kids and they're in the swimming pool and doing 8 million things at once, I tend to forget the seed packets outside. Last year, um, I left a packet of about 300 broccoli seeds outside. Uh, a basil or oregano, one of those, left that packet outside. So needless to say, I was a little frustrated with myself, but plastic. So if it rains... You know, it's just sitting there. There's a good chance it'll be fine. And not a total loss. So, when I saw that these were in little plastic bags, I felt so relieved. Like, granted, you know, I might still have a bonehead moment and forget the packets outside. But, the plastic just makes me feel a little more at ease. Um, so I figured I would just review the seeds, show you what I got, because I wanted to try a couple different varieties. So I didn't need, like, big packs of seeds, but I also did a little comparison with Break Baker Creek, who I usually order from. This way you can still see as far as the price range, or the price difference, as, and the options, at least, between the two. Um... Let's see. First, we will do onions. So, I wanted to try onions this year. Yes, we eat a lot, but typically I just buy them from the store. But I figured I would try a couple onions. Um, this is Weathersfield Red. It has three onion sets in here. Um, and on the front of each packet, it has their name and a little picture. This is yellow rock onions. Again, three sets. And this is Ebenezer white. I like white onions because I feel like sometimes they taste sweeter, but they also make me cry less and I'm not walking around the kitchen going, oh, uh, opening windows and all that other crazy stuff. I don't know. I just like white onions better than the yellow. I feel like the yellow just make me cry so much more. I don't know if that's true, but that's how I feel. Um, each little three pack is $1.99. Um, I just wanted to try them. So that's why I got this sampler. And then, Nick, you know, whenever I harvest these, at least I can know if next year I want to order a bigger package of them. But these are the three onions. Um, the other thing I ordered was garlic. I love garlic, whether it's in my tomato sauce on my chicken. I think we put garlic powder or chopped garlic cloves in everything. If we don't put chopped garlic cloves, we put garlic powder. Um, I just love garlic. And the little plastic bags have little holes in them, and you could smell the garlic through it. This has a very strong garlicky smell. Um, this is called Garlic Early Purple Italian. I have never had a purple garlic, so I figured I would try it. Again, you get three little, I keep calling them bulb, 
sir. This, I keep calling the onion sets bulbs, but I guess they're called sets, but they look like little bulbs. But this has three cloves in here. A little picture on it. And it's like very pinkish. I wouldn't really say purple. Um, this is garlic porcelain German, certified organic by Washington State Department of Agriculture. And these cloves are much bigger, and they have like a purple on them than the um, garlic early purple Italian, and this is the porcelain German, but they're much bigger. They don't smell as garlicky as these ones though, but I figured I'll just try both. Mm, for potatoes, I bought half a pound, and I don't know, let me look and tell you how much the half a pound of potatoes was. One second. So, the half a pound of potatoes, let's see, where are we at? Garlic was $1.99, $1.99. Okay, so the half a pound of potatoes was $2.99. And, let's see. Both of the potatoes are organic heirlooms. Um, this one is a red thumb finger laying potato. And it's a brown bag with the little holes in them. Let's open it. And I apologize if you hear the kids fighting downstairs. But this is the red thumb fingerling. And I also got like the standard traditional like big yellow potato. This is a German butterball. Again, same packaging. Yesterday I was showing these to my husband. He's smelling them and I'm like, I don't smell anything. I'm like, they're not flowers. They're potatoes. Like, that's the first time I opened the bag. All of these seeds were 99 cents that I'm about to show you. Um, one of them was not. One of these seeds were not 99 cents. They were $1.99. And I'm thinking it's this lettuce with 200 seeds. Just let me see. Not that one. Okay. It's this other one. So, these seeds were green ice lettuce. There's 200 seeds in them, and they were tested in May 2018, according to their label. It's green ice lettuce. There's 200 little seeds in here. And I was counting them yesterday, but I stopped at 100. I was just curious. But it says approximate, so I wanted to see if it was actually close to what they said it was in there. Um, these are collard greens Morris Heading. Last year I tried, um, I think it's Southern Georgia collard greens or something from Baker Creek. Um, I didn't get that many and I'm wondering if it is the groundhog that lives next door under my neighbor's shed or raccoons. But last year something ate the collard greens. Like it wasn't like a cabbage looper or cabbage loper, whatever it's called, or cabbage worm, whatever you want to call them. Because it didn't have, like, little holes, but whatever it was, like, annihilated them in one night. I was a little heated. But this has uh, about 50 seeds in here, and it was 99 cents. This one is, I went to try radishes this year. The only time I've had radishes was cold, shredded in a salad. I've never actually had the radish as a whole or even seen a real radish. I know that sounds horrible. Um, I just seen them in videos, but never had them. But I was on ball canning website, freshpreserving.com, and they have these sweet pickled radishes. So... If I don't slice them all up enough to put them in salad, I was going to can them and pickle them because it actually looks really yummy. 
but this is Champion Radishes. There's uh, approximately 120 seeds, and it was 99 cents. I have a little picture on there, and they look so yummy. But I read that radishes are good for, um, like, inflammation and things like that, and my mother-in-law has arthritis and stuff like that. Um, this is kale, Siberian dwarf, 70 seeds. This is spinach, winter giant, 60 seeds. I want to plant these, like, when it's a little colder, like, at the very, very end of winter, because it seemed like this year, spring was really short, and it went directly to summer. 60 seeds. And this is Chantenay Carrots. I've seen good reviews about these on Living Traditions Homestead. This is 120 seeds for 99 cents. And Winter Density Lettuce. There's approximately 200 seeds. This was the only one that I paid $1.99 for. All the other little packs of seeds were 99 cents. And they have a good amount. It's not like five seeds for a dollar, you know. This one was $1.99. There's 200 seeds. So I figure when it's really, you know, when it's cooler, like radish time, that's when I would plant like the spinach and the winter lettuce. When you order $20 or more, and I think I was at like $20 and like 50 cents or something like that, you get a free cow kit and it had a little soil pack thing, like the little pod. And there's about 15 red Russian cow seeds. I like to make smoothies and I use fresh kale. Um, every time I've grown fresh kale, it's really good in smoothies. But the one time I didn't have fresh kale, so I was at Walmart and I bought kale in the bag. And it smelled like farts. Yeah, I said it. It smelled like farts. And when I put it in the smoothie, it just tastes so gross. So, yeah. Um, we'll have plenty of kale for our smoothies. But there was a few things that I did like about seeds now. Um, the pricing is really good. I ordered on Wednesday, and they are in California. I'm in Pennsylvania, and I received their seeds Friday. When I came up from work, the package was waiting. Um, I like the pricing. All of these... These seeds, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 packs of seeds. Two little packs of garlic. Three packs of onions. Two packs of potatoes. For a little over $20. I think it was like $20.50. They even send with each purse, it, purse it, yeah purchase um, a free planting ebook which is about 160 pages you can download it up to three times I just saved it to my computer um, with the packing list they also sent me like a planning guide for potatoes and onions and garlic um, and if you don't buy $35 $35 um, they typically have free shipping above $35, but they have a standard flat rate shipping fee of $3.95. So to pay $3.95 and to get your package in two days, I feel like that's a really good deal. I like all of the resources on the webpage. They have different planning guides, planning calendars, multiple blogs. Like, they have tons of resources on there. Um, there was a little price dis difference between Seeds Now and Baker's Creek. Baker Creek. <sighs> I'm losing it today, guys. So, let me find the little blog I just typed up that had my price comparison. And I will tell you the price difference. What I wanted to do is I wanted to use popular seeds that I know other homesteaders use. So one of them was like Kentucky Wonder pole beans. 
I want a second, let's see, blog post, seeds now review, I don't know the exact number, so I just want to provide the exact numbers for you, so you can see the difference, so, let's see, okay, so Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans, Baker Creek was $2.75, and you get 40 to 60 seeds, for seeds now, for 99 cents, you get 20 seeds. So say if I wanted 40, like Baker Creek, that would be about $2. 2 to $3 for 40 to 60 seeds, which is about the same. But if you wanted 120 seeds, it's only $3.99. So that's double the quantity of the 40 to 60 for Baker Creek. For like a dollar and 25 cents more and you get double the seeds so either way it's either okay if you buy the sample pack it's about the same or it's super awesome if you buy double um for broccoli the calabrese variety that i usually buy baker creek is 275 for 300 seeds Seeds now is $1.99 for 50 seeds, or $5 for 575 seeds. Again, it's about the same. Me, personally, I'm not going to go through 300 broccoli seeds, so to pay $1.99 for 50 seeds is good for me. The one thing I did know is... I was looking up Paul Robeson tomatoes because I heard good things about them, and Baker Creek has 25 seeds for $3. Since that is an heirloom variety, and Baker Creek specializes in heirloom, Seeds Now didn't have it. They have other heirloom varieties, but they don't have every single heirloom variety that Baker Creek has. Since Seeds Now, their focus is non-GMO and not heirloom, so they have heirloom and not heirloom. Like they have quite a few different tomato varieties, but they just don't have that one. So I figured I would give you the full picture. If you're heirloom only, like you will not make no accommodations to not get heirloom, you know, this the pickings might be a little more slim from seeds now. But they still have tons of varieties of tomatoes. Like they have like ox heart tomatoes and Amish paste and, you know, what is it called? Mortgage lifter and all of the other ones. Like they have pages of tomato seeds, but they just didn't have that one because that was one I really did want to try. So I will have to get that one from Baker Creek. Um, I think that's pretty much all. I think I've told you about everything that I like about seeds now. I will be ordering more from them because I still need to order things like parsnips which I've never had before. Yes, I said that. Um, but, uh, was there anything else? I think that's it. Um, but I really cannot get over the little plastic baggies just because I've lost so many seeds. And I'm sorry if you hear my 85 pound laptop, lap dog snoring and the kids being yelled at. So, if you want to check out Seeds Now, I included a link below. I am an affiliate, meaning I get a small percentage if you buy something. Don't feel like you have to, but if you wanted to browse and check something out, I'd appreciate it if you click the link. As I put these in the garden, I was going to, well not was going to, I am going to film videos. So this way you can see the progression of the varieties that I have. And I think I might put them all like in box and raised beds close to each other so yeah, whenever I'm in the garden and I film a video in the springtime I'll just show you how they turn out I'm really curious to see how they they blossom and when the kids try them because I'm going to make them taste test them maybe not the garlic and the onions but the other stuff so if you want to check out seeds now just click the link below and look at it um if you have any suggestions for parsnips because I've never had them if you can please comment and let me know what varieties you like because I really want to try new vegetables this year that would be awesome and I'm also looking 
for a variety of lima beans for my mother-in-law. So if any of you know some awesome varieties for lima beans, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching Dandelion Homestead, and I'll see you next time. Bye!